we're going to talk a little bit about how the NeoPixel works. So NeoPixels usually come in different configurations, but there is a few different types. We're going to have an example today with this 5x5 grid of LEDs that you're going to use. But we also have them usually on like a strip configuration like this ones. And you can also get them in circles. Um, and a NeoPixel is just what we in general call an addressable LED. So that means we can control every in every LED individually compared to like an RGB strip where the whole strip has to be the same color. We don't need that. So, but we're going to take the example of this one today. We're going to make uh, we're going to start by making this um, LED up in the top corner here blink. And that's like the simplest thing we can do. So this video is going to be more about how to wire everything up and a little bit of talk about how to get the libraries installed and all this. So for wiring, we're going to look at the back of this thing here. And in the back, there is the right side and the left side with connectors. The main difference of these ones being that there is an input for this one and an output on this one. And so the input is going to the other Eno and the output is if you want to hook more of these LEDs up to each other. So you can have this uh, matrix here or and then connect the output to the string if you want to. Or you can hook up multiple of these squares. So in this one there is 25 LEDs. So if I try telling LED numbers 26, it's just going to pop out of this number, this output. So I can just connect this output to another input and that way string my LEDs together. The next thing that I have is I have the VCC connector and a ground. I also have a ground on the top, but I don't need to connect to both of them. I can, I can do fine just by connecting to one of them. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about here is the Arduino. I'm using the Arduino Uno. You can use almost any type that you want. And what I, what I did here is I connected the VCC to 5 volts on this side here and the ground to the ground connection. And then I connected data from pin and out number three. But you can use any of these pins that you want. I would say except from number zero and number one as they transfer pins to the microprocessor over here for the computer. So there's a lot of noise on these pins. So I would recommend skipping those. But let's take a look on how to get this running. So we need to uh, download Arduino from its website. And I expect that you already did that. Otherwise, do that. And then we need to install a library. The way we do that is we go under Sketch, Include, Manage Libraries. And in here, I can search here in the top for the library. And the library we, we use for this type is called Fast LED. And the first one that pops up here by Daniel is, uh, is the one that you want to use. For you, there will be over here an Install button. So hit that and let it install. It takes a few seconds. And when that's done, you can just close out. And then we need to go find some example code for getting this to run. So what we do is we go on the file examples. We go on the bottom here. Down here is all your downloaded uh, libraries. And right here is the fast LED. So the one that we're going to take a look at today is what we call Blink. That's the sketch that is already running on on the new pixel over there. So this is this is what we uh, this is the code. In here, there is a lot of gray text, and that's what we refer to as comment. And you make a comment by doing this double dash in front of a code line, and that will basically just comment it out. So we use comments for two things. We can either do that to tell you something basic um, about how the code run, how the code works, or it can be configuration wise. So all these are different types of addressable diodes, uh, addressable um, LEDs. I mean. And we are going to use the NeoPixel here. So no need to worry about that. But we do need to take a look at these defined functions. So the number of LEDs that we have, should we, we should change that to 25 as that's the number that we have. We have to set the data pin to the correct data pin. So I, mine is already in number 3. So I can leave it at 3. And then it defines a clock pin. And we don't need a clock pin for our case. So what I can do is I can comment it out, for example. Or I can just delete the line. Um, I can also just leave it, it doesn't really matter. 
And then what goes on here is just the configuration wise that we are making an array with the number of LEDs that we have. So it's gonna take this number, there is outside of number of LEDs, 25, and put it into this one. Same thing goes here, this is configuration wise. So it's gonna take data pin number three, and it's gonna take a number of LEDs, 25, in the array and put it in here. So no need to worry anything about then changing the number of LEDs and the data pin. And now we're actually ready just to upload. So let's try doing that. Before uploading, you should go under tools and make sure that your board selection is set to the Arduino Uno if you're using that one, otherwise set it to the ones that you actually are using. And the port should be set to the one with Arduino Uno. If you're using an original one, it will um, be, it'll say in parentheses like this. Otherwise, it, uh, you can check by plugging and plugging it back in and see which one appears. Then I'm gonna press upload. There's two buttons up here, one called verify and one called upload. I don't have to verify a code before I upload it. It will verify automatically when I press upload. And verify is just checking if your code is, uh, is valid. And what we can see now is on the LED over here, is that it now is blinking red in the top left corner and it's blinking at an interval at about a few, maybe a second. So, so why, does it, why does it do that? If we look further down here in the code, we come, we come to find what's called the loop function. And this is a repeating code. So it's gonna run through this code from the top and all the way to the bottom. And then it's gonna repeat and do it one more time and again and again. So what it says here is that it's gonna turn LED number zero, and that's what we do in programming languages. We always start from zero, never from one. And it's gonna make that LED red. Then it's gonna show the LED. This is a very important line, because if you only do this, it's not gonna do anything to the LED. We have to do a show command for them actually to execute what we are going to tell them what to do. Then we're gonna wait for 500 milliseconds, and then we're gonna turn LED to, this, to the color black. We're gonna show that and wait 500 milliseconds. So this makes it blinks on and off. So you can see what I did before is for example, that I typed in blue here. And if I do, I have to do a capital B in blue, otherwise it won't work. So what we're gonna see here is when I do upload that it's now blinking blue. Okay. Sometimes we, have a, we wanna have a little bit more of control of the colors that we're using. So we are able to use RGB color codes. So what I can do instead of this, these two colors and the blue is I can do bracket and I can type in here what I wanna have instead. So I can do 255, 255 comma zero and then the end bracket. And this is gonna make my LED turn into the color yellow because it's gonna turn it red and green which makes yellow. And I use the shortcut a lot for upload and that's uh, on a Mac, command U and it might be control U for, um, for Windows users. So you can see here that it's turning kind of yellow. It's a little difficult to see on the camera, but it actually is a, a yellow color. Okay, so if I wanna do multiple LEDs, I can just do new lines in here. So I can just do a new line and I can ask for LED number um, so the next row down is gonna be number five because it's a five by five grid. So, so you can see here, this will be zero, one, two, three, four, and then five is gonna be this one. So I actually want it to be number nine because I want it just to be below this one. So I'm gonna change that to number nine. And I'm gonna make that one red. So I'm gonna, only gonna make that as 255. I'm gonna make it full, full brightness red. And I also have to remember to turn it back off again. So I will copy this line and make that number nine black as well. And then I'm gonna upload. So we, now we should see two LEDs blinking at the same interval. Yep, there it goes. Almost looks like a stoplight with the green, yellow, red sign. I can also do it uh, out of sync, so I can do I can do lines, for example, like this one here, where I'm gonna turn one of them black and the other one. So now they should, if I get the upload here, they should change between the two colors like that. 
Okay, so this is the basics on how to get started. Um, see you in the next video for a little bit more of an advanced look into this array and how we get the colors to be like fill this whole thing out ex without writing every line of code for every individual ones and do some cool tricks. See ya.